Hey, good side. Oh, hey, not so good side. Hey guys, it's Deepika, and today you are seeing my lovely bare face. <laughs> Today I'm going to talk to you guys about something that has been a recent pain point in my life. Something I did not think would be one because growing up it was never an issue. And it is acne and pimples. <laughs> Listen, we all hate them, but we all get them. We're like bound to get them. And to be honest, I actually didn't think I would. What, 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 what? So let me take you back to high school. Little deep girl growing up in Sugarland, Texas did not have skin concerns. Like I was that girl that was like, oh, I have flawless jeans, my mom has great skin, and I am immune to pimples. Fast forward 10 years later, Deepika decides to be a beauty vlogger and try out a bunch of products all the time. My skin is, uh gets a little crazy these days. <laughs> and I am really focused on figuring out a skincare regimen with my dermatologist and trying to figure out what it is that is the best combination of products to work for my skin type. But that is still work in progress. And once I figure that out, I am definitely gonna do an updated video and share it with you guys because it is a huge, huge concern of mine because as I've said a million times, my makeup is only gonna be as good as my skincare. I am completely barefaced right now, and you know what, I thought that was important because my skin is not perfect, but who cares? <laughs> it doesn't have to be. I mean, we all have our flaws and it's like not that serious, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what I do to get rid of pimples in a very DIY way when I'm like freaking out and I'm like, where did that just come from? I have a shoot tomorrow, what do I do? So in the meantime, I have kind of discovered and learned through some girlfriends and trial and error ways that I kind of get rid of my acne using things that I have at home because again, I love a beauty hack. I don't wanna be spending all this money, like, why? I wanted to share those with you guys. Hopefully you learn a thing or two. Before I get into this, let me just preface this video by saying, this is not me saying that this is going to work for everybody. This is things that I have used or girlfriends of mine have used and have worked. However, that does not mean that it's gonna work for all skin types, and I'm not saying that this is something that's perfect for everybody. Now getting back to the tutorial, let's do it, let's get started. So I wanna start with what you do right when you get that pimple. It's red, it's in your face, and it just feels like you look like a Rudolph, especially when it's on the middle of your nose. It's happened to me. It's not cute. Something I've been doing for a, the past year now when I get pimples, first thing, is using actually Visine. And what that does is really calm the redness and the swelling a little bit. And it's super easy to do. All you do is take the Visine, put it onto a cotton swab, and kind of just press it down onto the pimple for like a few minutes, like maybe three, three-ish minutes, and just kind of press it down there. And it really just kind of calms it down. So then you have this pimple on your face, right? And you're like, just dry up, go away. Like, stop being so like all up in my face. My next son is something that like, I remember like girlfriends doing in high school. And again, Braddy Deepka was like, hey, ha, ha, ha. And now they're like, hey, ha, ha, ha. You have adult acne. So I'm telling you, karma sucks. They always used toothpaste and I, didn't really understand why, but now that I'm in this whole world, I, it totally makes sense. Toothpaste has baking soda in it and hydrogen peroxide that are really two ingredients that really help take down the pimple and dry it out. So my technique for it is taking a small amount and putting it directly onto the pimple and going to bed. And when I wake up, it's all dried up. Okay, so that's kind of how I handle pimples, but what about those times you like break out and like there's a bunch on your face and sometimes they're just like piled up together. It's not fun. That case, I've actually been using egg white. So egg whites work because when it like dries on your face, it sort of is lifting the dirt and debris on there, if that makes any sense. And the side benefit of it is that it's also a mild astringent. So like if you put it on your entire face for this entire process, there's other benefits. Can't hurt. So what I do for this is wash my face mildly and then I take egg whites and pour it into a bowl and I dip a cotton ball into the egg whites or you can use like a makeup brush, kind of like I did in my turmeric mass tutorial if you guys have seen that. Either do it directly to the places that you actually have the acne or do it onto your entire face if you wanted to also ask, like, act like a sort of a mask. And then what I do is take a tissue and layer it on top of my face but making sure that I have holes so I can breathe, talk, eyes. <laughs> um, and then I kind of let it sit there. And if I have extra egg yolk, I again take a 
um, take the rest of it and apply it on top and to let that like tissue almost sitting there, almost creating your own DIY face mask. Let it sit there for like a solid 30 minutes and then peel it off my face. And then I go back and like wash my face with water because you just put egg whites on your face. Like you're gonna wanna wash it afterwards. <laughs> Those are the things that I've sort of learned through my year of breaking out awfulness. <laughs> I hope they help you guys. Let me know if you have any other DIY skincare secrets to share with me. We can be a support group for each other. I believe that we can get through this together. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. All you have to do is hit that button right there. It's blaring at you in your face. You know you want to subscribe. Be my friend. Come back weekly every Friday. <laughs> Don't forget to watch more videos down below. I have a couple more for you guys to check out and so many more on my channel. Thank you guys so much again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.